Good morning from the Greek island of Mykonos. This is a place that we've wanted to visit forever and we're absolutely thrilled to have the opportunity to do so. We got in last night and we had a chance to go out for dinner in Mykonos town. And Mykonos town is one of the most well-renowned nightlife areas here in the Greek islands. So it was fun to kind of get a flavor of that, especially since it was a Saturday night last night. So we really enjoyed kind of just walking around the town, having a really nice meal of fresh fish that was caught absolutely the same day as we ate it. But today we're actually going out to the island of Delos. So this is apparently where the birthplace of Apollo was, the Greek god Apollo. And it's gonna be kind of cool to kind of take in that history and also hopefully go for a swim. We're staying at the Bill and Koo Resort and I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our accommodation. But Really, all you need to know is that view is amazing. So please excuse us, we're not the tidiest people this morning, but really nice bed area. Absolutely love the waterfall style showers. Toilet, of course. Now I've heard that you're not allowed to flush as much here on the island. Um, I don't know if that's only when it's the major tourist season, but we haven't really experienced anything like that yet, so I hope we're doing the right thing. We were also gifted some chocolate, some complimentary water, and a bottle of white wine on ice. So safe to say we're having a good time so far. The real amazing part about the Bill and Koo Resort though, is the pool area. Now we had one of the most amazing views of the sunset last night just right here from our balcony and we're going to be sure to be back for that in time. But for now, let's go explore Delos. So the admission price of all of the ancient ruins here on Delos is eight euros, but since it's European Heritage Day, we actually got in free. So another little bonus there, but it's absolutely, even if we did have to pay the eight euros, absolutely worth eight euros to see all of this, unbelievable. It is pretty amazing thinking about how, you know, people flock from all over the world to Athens to see the Parthenon, the Acropolis, but here in Delos, there aren't that many people here. And just because of the remote nature of the island, you have to take a boat all the way here. You actually get a lot closer to the artifacts. And ancient Greece was a society as old as any. A lot of our roots, as far as a democratic society, came from how the ancient Greeks lived. And there's history all over. It's not just Athens. It's pretty cool to be so close to it without the hordes of tourists in front of us. We're just so blown away by how close you can actually get up to these artifacts. Obviously some parts are gated off and everyone's being very respectful, but you can get within inches, centimeters of these ancient, ancient stones. On Google, it said that the official population of Delos in 2001 was 14 people. First of all, I want to know who those 14 people are. And second of all, that was all the way back in 2001. I wonder if they're still here. That's so true. <laughs> 
So along with their advanced forms of democracy and government, the Greeks also had leisure. You know, they had they had theater, they had sport. This is the amphitheater. So you can picture, you know, the port, all of the trade coming in. There are a lot of people spending the night here. It just still blows my mind. I mean, literally thousands of years ago, they were just putting on plays. Delos is bigger than you think. It would actually take five hours to see all the ruins here on the island, but we can't spend our whole day here. We're heading back to the boat. So the water temperatures in Greece versus Croatia, pretty similar I would say, but it's just that initial shock once you get in. I'm just going to have to submerge because that's the only way to do it properly. So here we go. 